welcome back to my channel my name is Mimi in today's video we're going to be walking through the powerful things that you can do in Excel which is data modeling in Excel many people do not know that you can actually do modeling that you do in Power BI also in Excel because they both have the common um, engines for example they both have the Power Query they both have Power Pivot as well so in today's video we're going to be talking about the data modeling which is all about relationship relationship like a mother can have multiple children uh, a father can have multiple children a student can take multiple classes those are all relationship and we're going to be going through that today in this video stay tuned All right, let's get started. So we're going to be using this data right here. Um, so this one has like student information, like their ID, their name, their email, and we also have the um, the the billing information as well. So this one means that the students right here is registered for this course, and it costs five thousand dollars. So let's go back to Excel. And let's bring in those two data that I just showed. So for that, you go to data right here. And you go to get data or you can go here to csv or text because that files that i showed there are csv file so i'm going to click this so i see the the student information let's bring that in first and this will load it so we can see all this information here we can say transform data because we need to transform it and this will open up our power query for us so next we also need to bring in um, the other data, um, the second one. So we go here to new source, we go to file and we go to CSV right here. We'll click it and now we need to bring in this billing and we say import. And we can see this, we say OK. So now we have the two data in, in, in this Excel sheet right here. So we can confirm that the, um, the data type are fine. So this one is like, if you click here, it's a whole number, which is fine. This one too is a whole number. This one is a fixed decimal, like currency. So it's good. Uh, with the same thing we can check for students. It's a whole number. These are all text, which is good right here. And we are ready to go. So we just need to load this into Power Pivot. Uh, so right here, we come here. And you need to say close and load to there's a difference between close and load if you say close and load this will not take it to power pivot which is where we need to do the modeling so if you come here where it says close and load to i'm going to put my cursor on it again it says save your changes to this query close the query editor window and specify where to load the result so i'm going to click this so now for us, we want to say add this data to the data model. That is how we can do the relationship or the data model. So you need to check this box and say, OK. And you just give it a couple seconds. And as you can see up here, 1000 rows loaded and 1000 ro rows loaded. So how do we get to um, how do we get to the, the data model? So we need to go here where it says data and then Always remember that this greenhouse right here is the data model. It's also called Power Pivot. So if I click this, say enable, if you need to enable that. So this should open up Power Pivot for us. And you can make it bigger if you're also smaller. Right here, if you see up here, it says Power Pivot. So this is the Power Pivot. And if you go to Diagram View, we should have two because we loaded two data. Remember, we loaded two files. So one is for students. You can make this bigger. OK, so now how do we connect this to data right here? Remember that we said that we want to get rid of writing VLOOKUPs um, and we don't want to have to do any VLOOKUP in Excel. So how do we connect this? We can see that this student ID is here and it's also here as well. So we just need to connect them together. So I'm going to drag this and I'm going to drag it to the student ID. Make sure you drag it on the student ID. Now let go and you see Excel created this for us automatically just by dragging this to here. And we can see that 
one student can have multiple classes here. So this is a one to many relationship. A student can have multiple classes here. So if we go back to data view, the data is still fine. So now we can go back to Excel. So I'm going to minimize this for now. So let's create a pivot table so that we can text this um, information that we just did. So let's go to insert and we go to pivot table. And now because we already loaded this data in data model, so we need to say from data model. And where do you want this pivot table to go? So we'll just put in a new one. So now you see here that these are the two um, data that we loaded into the power pivot. You can see that we have the exact copy, but those ones right here, they are pointing to those two here. So if I go back here uh, and to the, to the pivot table, this one are the one from the model. So you want to pick from the model. So I'm going to go here and say, okay, let me see the student ID. So we have all the student ID. Let's see the first name. Let's see the last name. Okay. Uh, let's see the, the classes that they've registered for. And we can see the class code. Okay. So this person has registered for a lot of classes. Uh, and then the cost. So I'm going to drag the cost here because we want it to sum it. Okay, so now we'll see. So because we want to, this to show like, like a table, so you can right click here and go to pivot uh, options. And now we can go to display and we can say show classic, this one. Check this one and say okay. So this should make this a little bit prettier. So we can see that this person right here we can rename all this but this person right here augustine is registered for all those classes if we want we can collapse this uh, and we can actually right click if you go back here and say collapse uh collapse entire field now we can see all the students here so we can see that the, the information are coming from different places and we didn't have to write any VLOOKUP. This is working for us um, automatically. So we can, uh, if we wanted, we can put a filter here that will just see um, if a person is a US citizen. So I'm going to check this multiple box and say, okay. So now if I go back here, we can say, okay, we just want to see people that are not a US citizen. And we can see that this is working as well. If we say we want people that are actually US citizens, I'm going to uncheck this and say OK. So we can see now that this is working. We didn't have to write any um, VLOOKUP, even though they are coming from different sheets. We can choose the different information that we want. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been able to learn that Excel is really powerful and you can use all this uh, relationship power pivot power query in order to create your relationship in Excel and do your analysis instead of having to write all this VLOOKUP. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.